you end up doing all these things, right? And you you came from this toxic relationship. Well, how do you how do you deal with this? How do you get into a better situation? How do you set yourself up so that you're not sabotaging whatever new relationship that you get into? And so this is what you want to do. First, you want to create awareness around whatever it is that you're doing. So just create awareness, just take some time and just think about it. Just try to Pull yourself out of situations whenever you get really emotionally wrapped into things. A lot of times it's really easy to get sucked into a, an emotion and then do something. And it's uh, it can be really powerful if you kind of pull yourself out when you start feeling yourself getting really emotional to pull yourself out and just notice how you're behaving and what it is that you're doing. Another way to do this is to wait until afterwards and then look back on it and say, okay, what were the things that I was doing in this situation? And that way you're uh, kind of setting yourself up to know how you're behaving and you know what you're doing. That way you can change those behaviors because if you're not aware of those behaviors, you're not going to be able to change them. So second is you want to own up to your thinking and your behavior. So the first step is awareness. The second step is taking ownership of it and really taking uh, th this can mean that you end up communicating with your partner, right? And just realizing that what you're thinking is more of a hallucination than it is a reality. You want to kind of own up to your behaviors and the things that you did. This might also be to your partner. It might just be to yourself. Maybe if you work with a therapist or something, that's something that you can do as well and talk to your therapist about and just kind of own, take ownership because the more, more you take ownership, the more you're able to do something about it. If you just kind of reflect it or if you blame it on somebody else or you end up blaming it on the past or saying, oh, I'm doing this because of the past, there's, not, there's nothing you can do about it when you blame it on the past. There's something you can do about it if you take ownership of it and decide that you are actually the person that's in charge here and not your past, not your situation, not somebody else. Third is change your belief systems around what you believe you deserve. And so I go in excruciating detail <laughs> about this. It's actually, I, I think it's kind of fun. I like reframing limiting beliefs when I have them. Fourth thing is forgive yourself for getting into a toxic relationship in the first place. A lot of times women will end up beating themselves up and, you know, talking bad about themselves or, you know, sitting around thinking about what they should have done and what they could have done and uh, you know and it's just it's a really painful place to be right anytime you're in a situation where you look at your past and you get stuck on what you should have done it, it only creates pain for you or even in the present moment if you're in a situation where you're you're you might still be in a toxic relationship or you attracted a new toxic person or something like that um you know, if you get really focused on, on what you've done and how you can't change it, then you just end up creating more suffering for yourself. And so you want to forgive yourself for any problems that you've, you've created for yourself or any situations that you've gotten into in the past. And so just let go of that and forgive yourself and, you know, uh, uh, just let go, just let go of it. So, and then uh, the fifth thing is to decide today that you're going to create a new future for yourself. So a future where you can trust and love and connect again. And when you make a firm decision that you're in charge of your destiny and you're going to create what it is that you want to have in your life, that's when you start regaining control of, of what you can possibly have for yourself in your life.